What's going on Airsofters? I'm Dials46 with Intrigue Airsoft. Today we're taking a look at one of my all-time favorite CQB weapons. And an Airsoft, it's a great AEG. It's the MP5K. I'm not going to get too uh, in-depth with this. There's a lot of great reviews already out there. I had one a long time ago. I've had the Tokyo Marui version. Um, I've had uh, a Galaxy version. And now i got my hands on this. This is going to be an offering from Elite Force. The cool thing about this is it's got the official HK trades on it. So not too much in the way of trades, but if you zoom in here on the back, you can see it's got it's got some MP5 engravings on it. Um, other side here, it does have an individual uh, serial number right up there. Uh, and then uh, again, some more H and K trades on the back. So kind of cool. Um, you know, not the traditional trades along the upper receiver that we're used to on MP5 replicas. However, this one being an officially licensed version, I guess we'll take it, man. It takes a stick battery in the top. Stick battery can be a pain to get into. Um, you gotta remove this back plate here, which I will show you shortly. Uh, stick battery goes in the upper receiver, along the upper receiver, and then you've got to remove your front handguard here to access the, uh, the plugs, uh, and also the hop-up, uh, the, the adjustable hop is gonna be hiding behind that front grip as well. Uh, construction overall on this thing is going to be plastic. It's going to be keeping the weight down for sure. Um, price point is going to be right around the uh, the 140 mark, I want to say, around 135, 140. Big orange flash hider on it. It does have like the the what they call like the navy um, flash hider, MP5 flash hider. Now, typically this type of flash hider is supposed to be removable uh, via a quick release quick release button right here. However, this one is not, and it's going to be permanently glued on there. Um, it's nice and orange, so again, you know, you are meeting all your regulations and things, but it's just, it's a lot of orange going on. The other bad thing about that is the, uh, the front sight assembly is plastic as well, so going about traditional, traditional methods of, um, trying to heat it up and, and, and getting that off to weaken up the paint, that's going to be kind of tough to get into. So, let that be known. However, if you smart, I'll show you how, what I'm going to do. Um, you know, it's not going to be a big hindrance on the gun overall. Performance is great, range is great, accuracy, I mean, it's what to be expected with a, you know, you're looking at a, the, now the, the inner barrel does go into this uh, front, um, let's see if I can show you here, it does peek into that front big old orange flash hider a little bit, but uh, you're still looking at overall, I don't know, maybe a six or seven inch barrel in there. Not a lot going on, but the range is good. Accuracy, not so much, it's what you come to expect, but the range is really good on it. Um, I was hitting uh, the back wall of our indoor field, and that's uh, around 120, 130 feet back there, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, pretty good range on it for a little gun like this. Awesome for CQB. Uh, it does come with 8.4. There is some modifications you can do to allow it to take a 9.6 um, NICAD battery. You might be able to find a stick lipo that you can squeeze in there. But with 8.4, not bad on semi-auto. Full auto is a little bit sluggish, but whatever. Comes with a high cap, 200 rounds. Uh, around that 140 price point. Box says it shoots 280, but our chronograph readings and some other people's reviews chronograph readings uh, showed around the 310 to 320 mark. So, kind of fluctuates. But uh, definitely going to be CQB legal. Most fields are going to be at 350 feet per second, measured with 0.12 gram BB, and it's definitely going to be underneath that. So, awesome, easy, compact, lightweight. Let me show you what I want to do to it. Pull off that uh, that back plate that's going to have your sling attachment on it after you remove your two pins, of course. Uh, that's how you're going to be accessing your battery. Uh, but before that, make sure you take off the front grip, and that's where it actually plugs in it. So you put the battery in the gun, plug first, plug, and your hop up's going to be. Uh, access underneath that front handguard. Here's the deal, man. So, basically, this back plate <clears throat> with the, uh, the sling attachment here, it's removable, okay, and then it'll leave you with the open hole there that is threaded, uh, and the thread lines up with the hole in the back of the gearbox, kind of what we're, we're used to on version 2 gearboxes, um, like on an M4, how the buffer tube screw is going to go through the buffer tube and into um, the gearbox and into the spring guide inside the gearbox. So, almost it's kind of the same concept on this, man. So, basically, spoiler alert, we're going to be attaching an M4 stock to this guy. Pretty simple mod. Like I said, if you have it laying around from an old M4, if you've upgraded stocks, or so I'm just going to screw that right there. It's got some Loctite in there, so you're going to have to break that free. Unscrewing that. Real simple. Boom, there it is, man. So, now... Um, I've taken off the uh, single point sling, the swivel sling mount on the back, and I'm going to grab my M4 stock buffer tube and 
screw. Here it is. And if I remember correctly with this mod, the cool thing about it is the diameter of the screw, um, 4M4, should be the exact, yeah baby, should be the exact same diameter as that uh, swivel sling mount on the back, is the, the same diameter of the screw that it uses. So, and that should line right up to your gearbox as well. So you're gonna have a real solid connection from this buffer tube um, through the back sling plate and right into that gearbox. So I'm gonna speed this up, stop talking, and we'll uh, look at the finished product here in a second, guys. You gotta wanna make sure this is all straightened out. Let's go ahead and put our pins back in. There it is. You've now attached uh, your M M4 stock to an MP5. Nice. Make sure um, you know that things like this, painting your orange flash hider or you know attaching this, even though this is reversible, it's a good possibility that this could void your warranty with Elite Force. So you might want to make sure that uh, your gun is outside of warranty before you start doing alterations like this to your gun. But this just goes to show you all the cool possibilities that are kind of opened up for your MP5K, man. Grab yourself an M4 buffer tube, any kind of M4 stock you like, and uh, you are in business. I myself, you know, they, they have the MP5K versions out there with the folding HK stock, but I like that. I like that stock on there, man. That feels good. That's going to be a good, nice, snappy quick pointer gun and uh, I'm really excited to use this out for indoor CQB field. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. Take care guys.